And so this will look through all of our gems from one of these, uh, from one of our position starting gems. So we need to start calling this from this area and gem one dot color gem one gem one dot x chord gem one or yeah gem one dot y chord and our uh, reference uh, gem one list and we're going to call this again for the gem two list and for gem two so just replace the gem ones with gem twos all right so we can look at our list now that we get out of this gem one and we just want to see if it's actually picking up uh, matches or if it's adding gems to the match list so if we move this to here it picks up five gems which is alright because it's probably going from here, 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 and here which is one of the problems that we're going to have to fix. So it's picking up the gems, but we need to fix our list because it's not uh, proper yet. So we need to make a new function called fix match list. And what this is going to do is it's going to take a gem in, and it's also going to take a list of gems uh, list to fix and we're going to go ahead and call this our fix match list gem1 uh, gem1 list and then the same for gem2 All right, so in here we need to separate our list into two different lists. We need to make a list of rows and a list of columns. And the way we're going to do this is that we're just going to loop through this list. My right, less than list two. Count. So we're going to loop through this list and then we're going to say that if our gem that we're passing in dot x chord equals our list to fix sub i dot x chord, then we know it's in a uh, row. And if the gem dot y chord list to fix sub i y chord then we know it's in a column and so we're going to add rows add sub i and a column dot add list to fix sub i all right so now we're going to separate out uh, the rows and the columns and now we need to check if these rows are in fact matches because if it's only if it's only matching two then it's not a match and if it's only matching one or you know if it's matching three or more than it is so if um, rows dot count is greater than or equal to our amount to match and if columns dot count greater than or equal to amount to match then we need a flag public 
or is matched. I'm going to say false. And here we're going to say is matched is true. And same thing here. And then we need two more bools in here. Uh, rows matched. Set it to false. Columns matched. And set it to false. And we're going to use these to determine whether or not we matched our rows or our columns. Or we could just, I guess we could do it here too. So let's make it slightly less complicated. If we matched our rows and we want to loop through our rows, and if you remember, in here we set this flag or we made this variable called is matched. Uh, so all we want to do now is say that is matched is true because we're going to consider this a match and then we just want to do the same thing here but with columns so you can just copy it over and then replace rows with columns and at this point we can now um, go to our update function